What's good, everybody? Hope you're having a blessed day, and welcome back to Sharp Sports. And if you're not having a blessed day, we're about to change that because you see, today's not just a normal day here. No, it's Subscriber Sunday, the day where I spotlight you guys, my amazing subscribers. So if you guys already know what's good with Subscriber Sunday, or you just want to get straight to today's player's highlights, you can go right here. But if you want to learn how to get your highlights featured for next week's Subscriber Sunday, I'm about to go over how. Now pay attention because I'm going to go through these three very simple rules quickly. So pay attention because you need to do all three of them if you want to be fully entered in for Subscriber Sunday. Sunday. Firstly, you obviously need to be subscribed. It's called Subscriber Sunday for a reason. So you got to be a subscriber. So hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. Secondly, go follow me on Instagram at Sharp Sports, spelled the exact same way that it's spelled here on the YouTube channel. And thirdly, I need you to send me a DM on Instagram with a link to your highlight, a picture of you playing, as well as a short description about yourself. I repeat, if you don't send all three things, you will not be entered in for next week's Subscriber Sunday. All right, but now that y'all know what's up, let's get to talk about today's Subscriber Sunday winner. Now, I've been seeing you guys in the comments wanting me to feature more youth players and so if you ask you shall receive today's player is a class of 2025 running back yes this kid is in ninth grade and he plays for the Grayson Rams which means that he's more than likely going to be playing for Grayson High School and if you guys know anything about Georgia High School football Grayson High School is one of the best high schools in the country but I'm talking about the dynamic running back Omari Alston all right but let's just jump straight into it and see what the boy Omari's got on the field three two one all right let's see what the boy Omari's looking like out here okay get him off you all right Set him up. Give me your ankles, little boy. Get off of me. Let's go. This kid's nice. Play it in. I need to see this play in full speed, though. Hey, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. That for, for you to be able to dodge the to be able to dodge the tackler like immediately after getting the handoff is already impressive. Take that stiff arm. Let's go. Set. Okay, I, I like I like how you just bounce it to the outside and just and just set him up. I will say, just in your future juke bag, if you fake to the especially right here, that this is an easy touchdown. If you just fake to the outside and cut back against the grain, obviously as you get older you're gonna get more vision, but that's just a, a much easier touchdown than having to swing it all the way to the sideline. Way to get in the backfield. I see you and stripping the ball. I don't know if you stripped it, but I saw I saw that you were trying to get the ball out. Okay, I see the quickness. I see the quickness. Way to hit the edge. Let's go. Okay, I see you out here. Let's get it. Holding the ball high and tight. Yeah, you you going you you're in good hands. If you're if you're already playing for the Grayson Rams, once you're once you're in high school, they're gonna they're gonna take care of you. You know, you're just embarrassing these kids out here. I would say the biggest thing that you're going to want to be working on is your footwork and your agility because you already have speed and it looks like you got a little bit of power to your game as well. I would, you really just want to work on like just things like that. Just being able to just like squat down, hit them with a little fake to the inside and then be able to burst back outside. That's going to come with footwork and also working on your balance. So um, when you're doing like squats, mix it up with single leg squats. Like you want to make sure that both of your legs are equally as strong like just little training exercises speed ladders like those are the things you should be just especially right now you should be just tearing all that stuff up you once you get into high school you can start worrying more about weight training great block by your receiver downfield holy <laughs> yo this dude said bop let's go oh what you gonna call it but yeah you, you can you can worry about weight training once you get into high school right now you want to be working on like running hills speed ladder drills uh cone drills any, anything that is about change of direction is what you're going to want to be focusing on because that's what, especially for your freshman year, freshman, sophomore year, that's what's going to be getting you the most yards when everybody's not fully grown yet and you're not going up against like the super big guys. Just being able to break tackles and just really be able to break through arm tackles, that's what's going to take your game to that next level. And also your stiff arm. You have a, you already have a nice stiff arm, but able, being able to take it even a little bit further and just be able to really Actually, I don't know. You kind of just got a nasty stiff arm already. Yeah, you, you already you already have a good bit of elusiveness. I, I already like your game. You have that that scat back elusive back game to you. I would just say the biggest things, like I said, you're gonna want to be hitting them speed ladders, 
work on getting faster because you're already fast. So if you're faster than you already are, then you're just going to keep on outrunning everybody. And then um, any type of change of direction drills, though, that's what's going to really help you so that shoot. I mean, you might you might get brought up to varsity as a freshman and get some get some time in the just being able to practice with the varsity team. So I actually misspoke. He's five five one fifty seven. I I just flipped the two numbers, but still, I mean, pretty solid size, especially for you only being in ninth grade. I mean, once you get into high school, you're probably going to be closer to five seven five eight one seventy because your freshman through junior year, you're going to just get way bigger, like extremely fast. So yeah, just change the direction and footwork drills are going to make you untouchable on the field also when you have it available to you go back and look at your game tape and be like oh man okay i missed that hole maybe maybe that'll be there the next game so just so you can expand your vision because especially being an elusive back your whole game is predicated around being able to set guys up and be like okay well i remember like there should be a hole back here so if i cut back right now boom i can hit the hole cut back across the grain and go that's where you're going to be getting those big 40 50 60 yard runs that i, I see you being able to make once you get into high school but Overall, Amari, I, I saw the burners out there. I saw I saw them stiff arms. I, you, you have a very solid game and you are very talented. And since you're going to one of the best teams in Georgia, I'm excited to see how you progress in your high school career. All right, y'all, with that being said, hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Let's get this video to 700 likes for the boy Amari Austin. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other youth ballers that you guys want me to cover because I've been seeing in the comment section, you guys want me to start covering more youth players. So. You just gotta let me know where they at. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications so you never miss any of the fire videos that we're dropping all the time. All right, y'all, with that being said, hope that y'all have a super blessed rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.